Hi everyone, it's Jim from Evolve Lab. Today we're going to take a quick look at some of the auto dimensioning features that we've built into Evolve Lab's auto documentation tool, Glyph. Let's jump right in. All right, so with Glyph open, I will scroll down to the dimensioning tasks. So out of the box, we have a couple tasks set up already. We can dimension views by category. We can dimension sheets by category. I'm going to start with dimension views by category. And if I click on that, Glyph will open the properties for that particular task. And so now you can see I have my options here to uh, select what views I want to dimension. Um, I can click right here. I can choose active view or pick views. I can also come in here and filter. Um, I could select from the list or I can add a filter to filter this list of views. Um, but right now I'm going to click on that and pick my views. So what that does is it allows me to come over here into the project browser and select multiple views that I want to dimension uh, automatically at the same time. So I have here first floor, second floor, and third floor. So if I want to dimension all of these, all of the walls in these views at the same time, I could select all three of them and hit finish. So with this task, I have currently selected walls and curtain walls uh, as the category that I'm dimensioning. I can pull that down and I can change the category to any, any of these items that exist in the model. I'm going to stick with walls and curtain walls for now, but you can see I can also add a category here. So if I want to uh, dimension multiple different categories within this one task, I can do that. I'm going to stick with walls for right now. I'll remove this one. Uh, you can see my views are selected already and I'm going to come over here to task settings. This is where I can select my dimension style. Pulling this down, I'll see all of the dimension styles that exist in this model. I'll stick with that one. Because I selected walls to dimension, I'm given some options here that apply to walls. So clicking here on wall dimension options, these are the different ways that I can dimension my views. So I can select interior wall dimensions, you know, exterior rough openings, I'll do that. Uh, and I'll do overall building dimensions. I'll stick with those three for now. And I'm given a choice to select the reference of my wall. By default, it selects wall center line. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick uh, finish face exterior. And then I can select an offset from the element. So how far do I want the dimension string to be from the wall that it's dimensioning? In this case, I'm just gonna put five there. And my last option is the tie condition. So what do I want to tie these dimension strings to? I'll go with tie to nearest grid. All right, so now I should be able to run that on my three views, and I'll just click the play button. Now that Glyph has finished running that task, we'll take a look at our views. You can see we have dimensions automatically placed on the first floor. Second floor has them as well, and there's our third floor. So from here, you can come in and you can start sliding these around a bit if you need to, uh, to clean things up a bit. But the bulk of the work has been done, uh, just placing the dimensions uh, automatically in these views. Okay, we're going to jump back into Glyph and look at another example, and I'm going to start in this reflected ceiling plan, and we'll use Glyph to dimension some of these lighting fixtures on the ceiling. So I can start, I could just come in here and edit uh, all of the parameters of this dimension views by category, but in this case, I'm going to start a new task. Uh, I will start with create task. Um, what action do I want to take? I'm going to dimension. We're going to dimension a view uh, by category. But we're going to call this one Dimension Light Fixtures, and we'll create it. There's our new task, which uh, shows up under Dimension now. And so here's where I can come in and start setting my parameters. So we'll stick with Views. Um, in this case, I'm going to do Active View because I have it open. And what am I dimensioning here? I'm going to select Lighting Fixtures on Reflected Ceiling Plan. And then we'll come in here to Task Settings. Same Dimension Style. And because we selected lighting fixtures, we have the option to change which reference of that particular family we're dimensioning. So if I select that, you can see I can change it to left, right, front, or center, left, right. I'm going to keep it on that. And what's our tie condition? We'll tie that to the nearest grid again. Offset, I'll just put a two and a half, and let's hit run. Dimension light fixtures ran successfully. And now we have uh, dimension strings placed at all of our light fixtures automatically and tied to the nearest grid line. 
All right, let's jump back into Glyph and show another example. This time we'll do dimension sheets by category. Uh, so you can see on this floor plan, I have some callouts uh, that I've placed, and I've placed those in large plans on this A4.1 in large plans. I have these three views that I would like to dimension automatically. So let's see how Glyph does that. If I come over here to dimension sheets by category, similar to dimension views by category, I'm given the option to select which sheets I'm dimensioning, or I can just select from this list, which I will do that. I'll, I'll grab my A4.1 and large plans. And what am I dimensioning? Why don't we dimension the interior walls and the doors? So I've got walls, curtain walls selected, and then I need to add a category. Here I will select doors. And let's go to task settings. Dimension styles fine. Um, and so now you can see I have two categories selected. So I'm given the options for both of those categories. I've got my walls and my doors right here. So wall dimension options. I want to select only the interior wall dimensions. Uh, let's pick finish face exterior offset. Give that a value there. And we will tie that to the nearest grid. For doors, instead of dimensioning the center of door, I'm going to dimension the rough openings. And tie condition, let's change that. Instead of tie to the nearest grid, I'm going to tie to the nearest joined wall. Now we can change our wall tie condition. And again, I'll do finish face exterior. And we need an offset from element. And I will run that task. Okay, that didn't take long. Dimension sheets by category was run successfully. And hopefully you noticed all those dimensions being placed. Uh, you can see all three of those views have been dimensioned automatically on the sheet. So I have three dimension views. Um, and once again, if I need to, um, I can come in here and start uh, changing the location of these dimension lines just to clean the plan up. But the time consuming part of placing all of those dimensions was completed for me. And now I'm going to jump into a different model, one that's a bit more simple, and just run through some of these tasks again. Uh, so if I come back here to Glyph, uh, I'm going to dimension views by category. And for this particular model, I want to dimension all of my walls, all of my doors, all of my windows um, at the same time. So in my properties, I will select this active view, and I'm going to start adding some categories. So let's do our walls. I'm going to add a category for doors. And one more here for windows. There we go. Let's go to my task settings. Here you can see I have all three categories in the settings now since I selected those three. So let's run that. Just like that, our dimension views by category ran successfully. And you can see all of these dimensions have been placed again automatically. And once again, I can start to clean this up a bit if I need to. Uh, but all of my dimensions have been placed. And really the very powerful part of Glyph is the fact that if I come back to select, I'm not just dimensioning one view at a time. I can potentially dimension every view in my model at the same time. So you can see how that can become a very, very powerful and time-saving tool, saving you time and money on your projects. Hey, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video today. If you'd like some more information on Glyph, check out our website, evolvelab.io. There's a link in the description. Otherwise, feel free to reach out at any time with any questions. Have a great day.